in the browser, you know, JavaScript, still great language, can talk, you know, since you're going over HTTP anyways, you know, there's a nice clean language bound uh, divide. So if you want to write JavaScript or, or TypeScript or, or any of a thousand languages, um, that's probably what I would use. You, you know, Rust has a pretty good browser story, but one does not simply write a front end in Rust. Like it's a pretty heavy investment in time, and and uh, and you, you know, it's you have very low high performance. If you have any performance constraints, you know, I really strongly recommend Rust in the browser. But but if it's if there's not like a, a real performance need, you know, just based on developer velocity and stuff, you know, maybe use whatever you would have used. If you mean the front end of the of the server, then um, I've heard good things about the, uh, I think it was, was it the, both Actix and Rocket um, Rust web frameworks. Um, both of them, uh, I've heard good things about. I, I would say the, uh, just, just a little bit on, on language choice is that, that language choice is very involved um, because there's a lot of short-term and, and long-term uh, decisions you have to make because uh, I think especially if you look at what the ecosystem is like now and you look at what it's like a year from now or two years from now uh, there's there's no there's no obvious answer to any of it <laughs> you know like if you if you look far enough into the future you should probably write it into, in, in rust but if you only look like over the next 10 years maybe not right once we have wasm GC host integration or GC integration, then I think that's going to blow open the spectrum of languages. So you're going to have really any high level but typed GC language, you know, so uh, like your Kotlin JS could become Kotlin.wasm, <laughs> which is Kotlin, um, and Scala JS and Elm and Reason. And um, just, there's a whole class of these high level typed, you know, currently targeting JavaScript languages. I think those will be your. Uh, hopefully the first ones that'll kind of switch over to targeting WASM, um, kind of as just a, an implementation detail. So, you know, code mostly stays the same, um, but that's a, a few years down the road, unfortunately. 